everyone and welcome back to Guild Wars 2. We are here with Krisha, our uh, new person we're going to follow in this story, our little thief. And you join me here in the Plains of Ashford outside uh, the remnants of the um, the crystal here of, of the uh, searing. So it's here down at the Agnost Gorge and over here whereabouts is where Ascon City would have be would be and I'll show you that at some point. Maybe we can see the wall continues to go. Uh, we can hear the gruel seem to be it's one of these kind of like uh, ape like almost races here. Gro groaning at uh, this old statue which I think is meant to be of Balthazar. You can hear sometimes hear um, the Gruul call it Badazar, so I think it's supposed to be a bit like Balthazar, the human god of war, which makes sense since this would have been a human region. At any rate, um, we've got uh, some things to show you. So, uh, as being a thief, we have a somewhat um, low amount of health. I think they're the low vitality. <laughs> right, we get this ability called Steal, which basically lets us t sh shallow step to our target and we steal a skill from them. And now often times this is things like we can go invisible, like so, and then we can do a sneak attack, and then we do various other things. Uh, it's all very sneaky and uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, so in my uh, main hand I'm winning a sword, which gives me a, um, a cripple and like a blind based um, uh, main weapon, main, um, um, you know, main chain. I have a infiltrator strike, which immobilizes and also basically gives me like a portal back, like I see here, and then I can use it again to teleport me by back. It's quite a good thing. Could be used for pulls and things like that. There's also this uh, th number three here, which is a flanking strike. Um, you can just flank around and do some extra damage. And then it leads on to like an unblockable attack. There's a dancing dagger, which is literally just dagger throw, and cloak and dagger, which gives me a bit of stealth uh, when I hit a foe. And uh, yeah, leaves them vulnerable. Now, interesting thing with feast is that uh, their skill three always changes depending on uh, what com combo weapons they have. So, for instance, I've got a um, pistol here. Notice now how my pistol, my skill third skill which normally was reliant on uh, the sword, has now changed to a pistol whip because I'm wielding um, a pistol in my offhand. It's now changed this to uh, something else. Let's get to do a bit of both there. But anyway, we're going to... Uh, let's go... I do like dagger and... Um, oh, we've got alternate weapon sets as well, haven't we? Uh, but I want to do... I want to go... Uh, Pistol off, we'll do that. So on our main hand, we swap to pistol main with, there we go. So we've got a range option and we've got a uh, off hand option. There we go. Right. So we have just received a letter while we've been exploring out here. We've reached level five. Let's uh, have a read. Legionnaire Irvin Stillbane, report in immediately. Uh, what happened out there? While you were ground standing with Britlock Brimstone, the members of our warband that you left behind suffered near total losses. This mess is all your fault. I'm in charge and I'm taking steps to replenish our numbers. If you expect to have a future in Blood Legion, report to me in the Black Citadel immediately. Legionnaire Irvin Stillbane. So this is the commander of our little troop. Is this Legionnaire and we're going to go to the Heroes Canton, which is the char version of the home instance to continue our story uh, with uh, Krisha here back in the m in the glorious works of uh, see the char symbol up there glorious works of his um, Iron Legionnaires I uh, don't remember if I said but yeah this is the home of the Iron Legion this is where they well, will mostly be so let's go here chain of command enter instance Here it is, our door opens. Let's head in. At least you made it. I think we're the only ones left. This is Reva, this is our friend that we picked right at the beginning. Who are you? Well, look who finally came back. When Steelbane gets done with you, you'll wish you died with the rest of your warband. As if I cared what you think. Who are you? Why are you breathing at me? Sorosi Breaksteel. 
Steelbane recruited me, along with the others, to rebuild the Warband. Wait, what? He's recruiting without asking us? Yeah, because you're dead, remember? And probably better off that way. Report to Steelbane in the barracks, quick, or you'll be in for a beating. Okay. So yeah, the Warband, uh, it's kind of like uh, these guys' is, um, family. Uh, the family in the sense that like, you're born and then you're basically raised as like as a member of the warband rather than a member of your family so like these people we've been with Reva here and any others this is our true family here we go rage still tongue and legionnaire Irvin Stillbane. legionnaire looks like some sewage just floated in from the battlefield you get my best soldiers killed, and then have the nerve to stand there stinking up our barracks with your cowardly musk! I got them killed. Tell me something, boss. Who's in charge of this outfit? Who was giving the orders? You. Watch your tongue, soldier, or I'll have it removed for insubordination. Rage, teach this piece of waste how to address a legionnaire. With pleasure. We'll deal with this lackey. Oh my god, they're all take take are they all taking us out? God they all. They're all Luckily, we have cunning on our side and this Reaper, of course. Bring it on! <laughs> Bring it on! So a combination, you can see a, a lot of shadow stepping and like, um, like teleportation and that kind of stuff with the thief. It's very high octane, fast um, kind of way to play. And uh, yeah, like I say, it's my main. Deal with these initiatives. Initiatives, rather. Nothing we can't handle. And we will have to be a little bit more careful in these trances with a thief because we are a bit more squishy. We are medium armoured and uh, we have low, you know, quite low vitality. There you go, easily dealt with. Stand down! All of you! Stand down now! So, you fight your own warband better than you fight the enemy. Go on, get out of my sight while I figure out what to do do with you. There's a lot of supplies over at Tellerings. Bring them to me. Double time. It's the only job you're fit for. Screw this up, and I will use your hide as a doormat. Understood? Understood, boss. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, obviously something we're not too fond of. Uh, We'll have to leave the instance and go grab the supplies. Let's get, let's get rid of these world events. We don't need to know about those. So, the Adamant Guard. If you saw him, these are the kind of like the National Guard of you know the guards of. Um, just like the Seraph were for the Venice Reach, these are kind of the guard of uh, the Black Citadel here. So, uh, Teela's Range is one of the first heart events you do. Um, as this is actually quite a new heart event to this map. This never used this part of the map never used to actually uh, be here. At least it wasn't. This were you know didn't have this hero challenge and things like that. Uh, but yes, let's walk down and start the next episode. Start the next part of the story. Chain of command. Set up, retrieve the supplies. Anything else to say? This is crazy. It's humiliating. I'm a soldier, not a marmux. When we get back, I'll see if I can get talk some sense into Sylvain. Oh, what's going on here? So there's some a flame, some flame legion.
rest of your warband defected voluntarily. Don't be stubborn. Why fight for blood when you can cook for Flame Legion? Females have it easy with us. You want me to desert and join you so you can demote me to fry cook? Please! I've killed a hundred males twice your size. Fall in line or fall on a blade. I don't care which. No luck trolling for recruits at the pig farm? You flame legion stiffs must be desperate. I came here for supplies, but this is a lot more fun. If it's fun you want, recruits! Let's send Blood Legion a message. Bury these idiots and destroy those supplies while you're at it. Okay, here we go. Yes, the the Legion that I remember telling you guys um, that was responsible for the situation the Chara is in, pretty much. And uh, they're here trying to get recruits, it would seem. We've been fighting a lot of them out in the open world uh, in this area, so it's not surprising that there are some around. Oh, we've got more. More showing up. Nothing we can't deal with. It's easy enough. Here we go, some more. Again, nothing we can't deal with. Let's swap over to uh, our pistol for a sec, see how that feels. It's not all, not just all uh, swords and sorcery. I have a feeling I'm going to join. Uh, like double sort uh, double daggers. Want anything else? Spike this guy. Oh, didn't manage to dodge out the way before he could do that big attack on us there. You might see when we enter stealth that our first chill changes. That's basically our stealth attack. Um, and um, most uh, thief weapon attacks have some sort of stealth, uh, stealth sort of mechanic. Does a lot more damage and some extra effects. Speak with the Lexus Shredskin. I knew this soldier. Best quartermaster in the legions. Whatever you needed, he had it. My whole war band deserted for the promise of power. Never thought I'd see something like that. I have nothing left but my life. If you'll have me in your ranks, it's yours. We need soldiers, and you can clearly handle yourself in a scrap. Welcome to the war band. Just be warned, my legionnaire is going to drown us for losing those supplies. I hope you can swim. Don't worry, I can hold my breath for a long time. I'll take punishment over death, or be in a gladium. Lead on. So you just mentioned a word there, gladium. Uh, gladium is basically a child without a warband. And in fact, as, if you remember, uh, Kreisha's uh, father uh, is, a gr is a gladium. Get some more stuff there. We'll take it. And we'll equip all the stuff. Get a new slot here. Uh, Hammers we cannot use, but we can use some mighty boots here. Uh, there we go. Does kind of change our look a little bit. Let's report back to Steelbane. For a new member of a warband. In the Imperator's core, looks like we're heading. Maybe going to see the Tribune Ritlock Brimstone himself, perhaps. So, report to... Report the destroyed supplies to Stillbane. Here we go. This is the Imperator's core. This is where, uh, right at the very top of this, there is the Imperator, which is the leader of a legion. Uh, in this instance, it's um, it is. I can't remember. What, actually, what is his name? I can't remember. 
Uh, at any rate, uh, this is where the Tribunes hang out and the Imperator of Iron Legion. Uh, this is where he is as well. So we're going to head up and try and find Stillbane right now. And I have a feeling he's with uh, the Blood Legion Tribune, which is, of course, someone we have met briefly. Uh, Tribune Ridlock Brimstone. I think I'm going the right way. Nope, clearly not going the right way. Oh, must, maybe it's right at the very top. Is it in here? The Blood Tribune quarters? Nope. But you can see, there he is, Ritlock Brimstone. We have spoken to him a little bit. Exactly, is this? Let's go back down. <laughs> Let's go back down. Sorry about this. I can't quite remember where exactly it is. Let's follow. Uh, Let's follow the green arrows and see where they take us. Okay, so that is telling us to go up here. Because you can clearly see it's there. No, it's under. It's all right. Oh, I think we've got to go down, perhaps. Yeah, we get some nice views of uh, char technology here, um, and mixed in amongst these Escalonian ruins. It's all very, you know, kind of like uh, steampunk-esque, um, and that kind of thing. Uh, elevator to Bane. Okay. Go in here. Oh, I don't know why that teleported me back. She's taking us to the arena. There's like a large arena thing in. Um... There we go. Time for a promotion. There's some lovely art of the char in this. I love the arena. After steering, let's take in a bow. Maybe. Maybe indeed. Some spectators. We're in this huge arena here. Is Ritlock, uh, Rage, uh, Sorosi, and Legionnaire. I recognize you, Crucia left ball from the Bar Baronin skull. Right. Hell, that was a hell of a fight you gave her there. Shame about your war band's losses. My soldiers didn't die from lack of fight, sir. They died from lack of command. Watch your shoulder. I appreciate honesty, but not in subordination. At least not in half measures. If you're going to do something, take it all the way. This is the Bane, after all. The Bane, sir? What do you mean? The Bane is an arena. We use it for entertainment, training, and to settle disputes. A good fight can turn two soldiers from enemies to friends. Good to know, sir. Thank you for experiencing. Mm, wonder what's going to happen. Well, well. If it isn't the brave soldier that aided me in Baradin's crypt. Good to see you again, Tribune Brimstone. If you'll excuse me, I need to speak to Steelbane. Reporting in, Legionnaire. Teller range was compromised, crawling with Flame Legion. The supplies were destroyed. In other words, you failed. Again. By the claw of a conner, give me one reason why I shouldn't just kill you now. Go ahead and try it. You don't have the spine. You're done, Steelbane. Either you step down as Legionnaire, or I'll knock you into the dirt myself. You want my job, you miserable little puke? Earn it! Get down there and fight! Show me what you've got, and maybe I'll show you how a real legionnaire fights! Get around, troops! Watch me crush this little mutiny, and teach you all a lesson in respect! There we go! So we're going to fight to become Legionnaire of our little warband. And this is something I really like about the charts uh, stories. You kind of build up this little crew uh, as you go along. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's kind of like a Firefly kind of feel to it, you know, building up this crew. Right, where are we? Really? Just a few gladiators? Nothing we can't deal with. 
Easy enough. Are they fighting each other as well? They're just running around randomly. There we go. Dodge out the way of that stuff. Love the job. Bring it on. Where's this arena champion? Champion Vita Vital Gore. You notice it's just a veteran, it's not a champion. But let me let them mind. Let's do what we can. Let's use all of our cunning and wiles. You notice there's sometimes there when I'll use a five skill to go invisible and it won't. That's because we'll have this revealed uh, status on it. And it's basically just a prevent um, perma stealth though if you go to PvP in this game you'll find that a lot of uh, builds have figured out a way to divert from that uh, yeah okay let's fight the giant devourer so this is one of the uh, one of the uh, animals you can pick at the start if you're a ranger and a char you can pick Obviously a smaller version, but this is one of the local um, creatures of this area, a devourer. Okay, let's afflict some uh, wounds there. Uh, one of the new, new uh, conditions we can now inflict uh, as, a, um, as a thief that you may not have seen is a condition known as torment. And it's this little picture there. And it's basically um, whenever the uh, target moves it deals damage. It's kind of like a move based bleed. Um, you may have also noticed there that um, I'm able to evade uh, skills with some of my um, weapon attack abilities as well. Uh, that's... Uh, Thief has a lot of that built-in evasion in their skills. Uh, so it's that definitely that suits that kind of play style. So here we go. This is uh, our warband it seems. With Ritlock. Outstanding. I'd say the soldier exceeded expectations. What do you say, Steelbane? Uh, he's so impressed, he's speechless. <laughs> now get in that ring and fight, Steelbane. Or I'll split you open myself. Uh, yes, sir. Tribune. I can't hear you, Legionnaire. Yes, sir. Challenge steel away. This soldier's willing to fight to the death. How about you? Yeah. Prepare to be impressed, Tribune. I am going to make an example out of this whimpering cup. Okay. Oh, missed that. Let's immediately go invisible. Let's get that stun in. Put on those stacks of vulnerability, which make me do increased damage. Oh. Uh kind of lined myself up for that one. There we, do you notice we've got a different attack this time, a two stab, which gives you some uh, bleed. Let's try and get invisible again to get a stun. Again, how this guy became Legionnaire, who knows? Easy enough. Stop! I surrender. Don't kill me. I can still be of use to the Blood Legion. He's done, soldier. Either he lives to continue serving the Corps as best he can, or he dies in the name of Legion discipline. Either way, the decision's yours. Kill him, or cast him out of your warband. Well... He got a lot of people killed under his command. I think uh, blood can only be replayed in blood, and we are, after all, blood legion. We are the f we are the ferocious ones. What was best for Stillvane? You mean you started this? I'm finishing it. You are going to die. We've got a bunch of health back there. We can get this second part of our fight. Try 
tried to teleport out of the way there, but didn't have enough uh, initiative. So this is our resource here, initiative. Some of our skills cost it. It's pretty simple to understand. It's like our stamina bar almost. Even the most glorious revolution is just a successful mutiny, huh? Congratulations on your promotion, Legionnaire. Thank you, Tribune. I'll rebuild this warband and live up to your trust. I promise you that. Good. Now for your first orders. Replenish your warband with Honorable Gladium. Earn their trust. Yes, sir. Any recommendations? Fly on the Wraith and Sour Doomsday. Both are good soldiers who've fallen on hard times. I'll give you a full briefing when you're ready. Okay. Report to Tribune Brimstone. We are now the head of our warband, it would seem. Let's uh, talk to Ritlock. Ready. So, very well, Legionnaire. You've got two solid choices. Sour, Doomsday, or Fion the Wraith. Thoughts? Uh, tell me more about Fion the Wraith, sir. Fion's warband spent decades in Ascalon hunting ghosts until they were caught in an ambush. Only Fion survived. He's a hardened veteran, good with blades, more stealthy than you'd expect from Blood Legion. A little old, perhaps, but still kicking. Okay, what about uh, Saw? Uh, Saw's a talented necromancer. He was training for Cobra Ops when his warband found him meeting with flame shamans. They accused him of treason. I suspect this was just over eager. Um, so a mistrust did. Gladium needs a home and, and my warband needs talent. Not just mistrusted, but mistreated. And he's fed up. The flame legion's been using that anger to try and turn him to, a, to their side. You'll find him in to be center path. Okay, I'll let you know soon. So who are we going to take? I'm ready to choose. That's we can either get this sneaky sneaky type with Thy on the Wraith, or we can go with a necromancer. Something that we don't really do with the char is mix around with magic. And we we already have a stealthy type in me, but I'm kind of interested to see how where this necromancer story kind of goes. So with with those things in mind, I'm gonna pick the uh, necromancer thing. Yes, we could. We can. This will be the left pull band, I guess. Well, let's take our dagger. We've got to level up there. We've unlocked our first skill. Now, as a, a char, you notice we get different racial skills. So we can have either a shrapnel mine, which is just a mine we can place on the ground. There is a battle roar, which gives us might and fury, which is the one I'll be taking to start. And a hidden pistol, which gives you a bit of a day of aid and you can dodge backwards, kind of thing. That's Oh, excuse me, let's equip our dagger in our main hand. And we'll work with um, we'll work with a dagger for now. Dagger main hand. A few bits there as well, nothing there. Uh, dagger main hand hand is quite interesting. Um, oh, it's not gave us dagger main hand. Let's swap that round. Let's unequip that. There we go. So yes, dagger main hand. Uh, we get super quick is uh, dagger, uh, which you would have seen. You've got heart staker here, which is a leap towards our foe. Uh, Death uh, blossom, which, which is our dual wield ability from uh, winning two things. Uh, evasive attacks, and you kind of just spin all around your uh, enemy. It's very like Daredevil, very kind of cool, very cool enemy. Of course, we got our end two there. But yeah, we're going to end that here. Let's um, leave the instance. Okay, we're going to end today's episode here, and then next time we're going to head over and speak to Sour Doomsday and uh, get him into our um, get him into our warband. So thanks everyone for watching, and we'll see you next time.